So what I'll show you here is our collaboration with Amazon to bring Alexa into the vehicle using our smart device link technology. We have a mobile app here that we've collaborated with Amazon on. We're hooked in via USB. And so we'll see the app appears here under the apps tab. We click on Alexa. And then once we press the push to talk button, we can pretty much do anything we'd want to do with an Echo. Um, I'll show you a, a unique feature that we have um, that's special to in a vehicle. It wouldn't be as applicable as you'll see if just in a living room. Um, it's a point of interest navigation search. So what you can do is say, find me Chinese restaurants. Well, I didn't know if you guys Here are a few nearby Chinese So now we've got a list of Chinese restaurants so nearby. Um, you know, let's pick one that we think sounds good, press it, and now we have the option to send it to our meta navigation system. So we'll press start. And now we're on our way to get Chinese food. So this is obviously the in-car experience. This is the in-car experience, yep. Yes. So is, th there, is there a way in this demo to show the controlling it remotely as well? Sure. So because this is essentially the same as having an Echo, you can still use our My Ford mobile skill through this. So I'll show you an example um, on our Ford Focus Electric. What we can do is we can ask, ask My Ford mobile to check my battery status. Your vehicle is 94% charged in electric range of 52 miles. So you can also lock and unlock your vehicle. You can remote start your vehicle. You have a number of options with the My Ford Mobile skill that'll be released to the public at the end of this month. I mean, what it, what it really is is about giving our customers the option to use their favorite digital assistant in the car. So we're still allowing users to use Siri via CarPlay. You can still use Android Auto. You can still use our sync embedded voice. Um, this is just another app that users can use to integrate with their favorite consumer technologies. Thank you very much. Thank you. So what are you showing us here today? So today is is actually um, kind of a build on a proof of concept that we did um, at CES last year. Last year we showed um, an Amazon Alexa integration with our um, Ford Sync head unit using an AppLink technology, which is the open source um, platform that we opened up a couple years ago. Um, that demo was was basically to show, you know, we as Ford Motor Company can show that Alexa can be used in the car or any other type of voice assistant. Um, since then. Amazon has actually taken the development on board, and this is actually the fruits of that labor. So this is them saying, you know, we we agree that this is a good idea, um, and we want to put Alexa in the head unit. So we can go through some examples right now of that type of interaction. Great. So you know, usual interactions with Amazon Alexa at home are simple things such as you know what's on my shopping list, and we get the same type of things in this as well. What's on my shopping list? You have two items on your shopping list. Cat litter, cat food. <laughs> so it's the usual things that you're used to doing at home, right? Now, in an instance where you say, you know, you, you ask at home, Alexa, where's the nearest Starbucks? It's gonna say something around the lines of, you know, it's five miles away, here's the time it's open until, and none of that information is really viable to you at home, right? But we can actually take that type of information and actually utilize what the car can do. And the car's job, of course, is to take you from point A to point B. So we can say, Take me to the nearest Starbucks. Getting directions to Starbucks. And so we can go ahead and set it as a destination and drive away, right? So, so this, it's it's kind of feeling, you know, where where does Alexa fit into this into this lifestyle, right? Um, and of course, one of the easiest ones, which is always, you know, regardless of where you are, is music, right? Everybody listens to music at home and and in the car, right? So we have support for both Prime Music as well as Audible. So if you're reading if you're reading an audiobook at home in the car, you can also continue where you left off. Oh wow! So we can go ahead and actually use the steering wheel control. Please say a command, Alexa. Alexa. Play classic jazz. Shuffling a playlist for classic jazz music. 50 great classic jazz songs. So why are you giving voice commands in some cases, in other words, saying Alexa versus hitting the button? Right, so there's two different ways that you can interact um, using Alexa in the vehicle, and that and that kind of stems from all of, our, all of our app partners that we have. So for instance, Spotify we have in the vehicle as well that you can use. Um, we do also provide the, the commands on the screen. So for instance, if you are in the car right next to me, or in the seat right next to me, it makes more sense to be able to touch the buttons on the screen, right? Um, 
So with this, with this microphone button we have right here, this allows us to do the same commands as if we were going to use the steering wheel control. Now, if I'm alone in the car, I can press the button and talk to Alexa, or I actually can issue a voice command via the steering wheel control right here. And what happens when that happens is, is we actually have to issue a command to the head unit itself to say, we're ready to actually speak. And that's how we use the, the, usual, uh, the usual common nomenclature of just saying Alexa, right? Because it's the most actionable item that we're used to doing. Got it. So. Good. Well, thank you very much. Of course. Thank you.